Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to set up the Facebook Pixel with their new interface. So Facebook has changed their interface around, it's a little different, and honestly, it wasn't as easy for me to figure out how to get it set up. And so I want to guide you through the whole process from start to finish. It appears like there is a little bug in their system which doesn't allow you to open website when it should. And so in this video, I want to address that and show you how to manually get the pixel to work and get it all working so that you are able to open that website. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, we are here in our Facebook ads account. Uh, I have my landing pages here where I will be adding my pixels to. Uh, and I have a website here, which I will link in the description. We'll get into that. But the first thing we have to do is actually create a pixel before we add it on the site. So what we're going to do is head over to events manager. So select your, you know, select your business. This is the homepage that you're going to land on. At least today, Facebook always changes these, but basically go to events manager, regardless of where you are, go to events manager. I have some pixels here that I used in my Facebook ads, uh, course and my Facebook ads retargeting course, check those courses out. If you want to learn how to go from start to finish in re, uh, retargeting and running Facebook ads, but we're going to create a new pixel here. So we'll click on connect data source. We're going to select web and click on get started and select the Facebook pixel and click on connect. So now we're going to add a name. We're going to say, let's say, uh, YouTube pixel. We don't have to add a URL here. Let's click on continue and I'm going to show you what the next steps are. So we can insert the code manually. However, there is one thing we have to do first. Okay. So we have to actually attach this pixel to our account. If you haven't already, if you only have one account, then don't worry about it. Uh, you know, skip ahead, but I'm going to show you how to actually add the pixel in case you do have different ad accounts. So we're going to close out of that really quickly. Let's head back over into business settings. And we're going to head over to data sources and pixels right over here. And now we have to attach this pixel to our account. Okay. So we're going to select the YouTube pixel. So we're going to add people. So we're going to add myself so I can be the manager, Yvonne Mana. We're going to make me the admin and we're going to head over to connected assets. And now we have to add assets. Okay. So we have to add our ad account one here. Okay. And now we will have access to this pixel from our ad account. So now we can head back over. Let's head over to business settings. Uh, so we can click on ads manager, but we want to head back over to events manager. And now we can start. Now we've set up the pixel. Now we have to actually add the pixel to our account. Okay. So we're going to click on, uh, let's see YouTube pixel right here. And this should be attached to our account. So we're going to create, we're going to click create here. Uh, sorry, no, nope, we're going to click on continue pixel setup. My bad. They changed the interface. Uh, so we're going to insert the code manual. Okay. So there are two things we have to do. Uh, one is add this big pixel event code, which is, or not event code, uh, base pixel code to every single part of your page uh, of your website. So every single page, I suggest you do this. Even if you're not marketing, I strongly suggest you put this code on every single page of your website, just so Facebook starts gathering data. So we're going to copy this code. And we're going to add it in the head section. So just above the ending head tag. So in the header, if you're in click funnels in WordPress, uh, if you have the pixel integration, use that I'm using unbounce. So I'm going to add it for to every single one of my unbounce pages. So I'm going to select JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript, select head over here and paste it here. Okay. And I'm going to say, I'm going to name this Facebook pixel. So whatever landing page builder you're using, try to add it in the head section. That's the idea. Okay. Now I am using Google tag manager for some other examples here. This helps you create some special audiences. So I cover that and how to set it up with Google tag manager and all that good stuff in my courses. So once again, check those out, but we're just going to add the basic Facebook pixel code here. We're, we're going to click on done. We're going to head over to our thank you page and we're going to add this code here as well. We're going to select head paste it here and let's say Facebook pixel. We'll click done. Okay. So we're partly done. So we've added the pixel here, which is awesome. We're just going to quickly republish everything. We do have to do one more thing and that is add the actual event. Okay. So this is the important part. This is how you send conversion data to Facebook. You have to set this up. So if you want to track how many people sign up, for example, you would add an event pixel for a lead. If you want to track how many people purchased, you would add a purchase event pixel. Okay. So super important that you do this part. 
And this is where it gets tricky, okay? So let's click on continue and there is one more thing it's gonna ask us. So I would suggest turning on automatic advanced matching. What this does is Facebook will look at your page and if you have these fields there, for example, the email field, Facebook is gonna try to match their email on file with that, with that user's Facebook account and the email they used to sign up and it's gonna try to match them so that it can provide you with more data. Not about that one specific customer. You're not gonna get, you know, it, it, there's no privacy issues here. You won't get all these pieces of information about the client. Uh, but later on, once you get a bunch of these, uh, a bunch of these clients signing up, Facebook will be able to give you a general idea of what your audience is, like the demographics, their interests, all that stuff, okay? So turn it on, doesn't hurt. There's no privacy violations or anything like that. And we'll click on continue. Okay, so this is where it gets confusing. If you click on open event setup and you enter your website URL, like if we, you know, if we take this URL, let me just make a quick change here. Let me get, get the URL here. Um, there's gonna be issues here. So this was our site. Let's republish. Uh, it's not gonna allow you to do anything. So I'm gonna copy this link address and look, I'm gonna paste it here. Nothing, right? So what's going on? So for some reason, you actually have to add this event pixel manually before you're able to open this. So let's close out of that. Let's head over to continue pixel setup again and let's go through this real quick. So we'll click on continue, we'll click on continue and we're gonna install events manually here. So we'll click on install events using code and now you'll be taken to this page, okay? You need this page. What we're gonna do is take the code that they have here and we're gonna use that in combination with this other page that I have here. I will show you everything in a second, don't worry. So let's suppose we want to track how many people have signed up to our page, right? So we have our thank you page. So we wanna place a Facebook pixel event code here to signify that someone went through our landing page and they have signed up and they have now landed on this page. So we wanna put a Facebook pixel event code here. So what we're gonna do is let's head over here and let's copy uh, either this code or any one of them um, basically, we want to copy the one with the script tags, okay? So something like this. So we're going to copy this whole thing here. Uh, let's see if there's anything else available. Yeah. So we're just going to copy that. Let's go back to our page here. So we want to put it on our thank you page to signify that somebody has uh, signed up, okay? We're going to head over into JavaScript. Let's add a new JavaScript code. Uh, we can put it in the head as well. Actually, what does it say? Um, anything? Yeah, so no, I, I actually body tags for this one, not the head. So let's put it uh, before body end tag or after body tag. Either way is fine. I'm going to put it before the closing body tag here. I'm going to paste it here. Uh, let's rename this Facebook event. Uh, this is going to be a lead, okay? And let me tell you now how to actually do this. So right now it's a purchase. So if someone signs up right now, if we click save, this will show up as a purchase, but it's not a purchase, right? So let's head over to this URL. I'm gonna link it in the description and let's find what you want this to say. So do you want this to signify an add to cart? Probably not, not if someone signs up. Do you want this to signify, you know, when someone signs up, do you want that to be considered a donation? Probably not. So look for something you like. For example, it's probably a lead. Lead is probably good. Maybe start trial if you're offering a free trial. Maybe you, it could be subscribe, okay? So we're gonna pick one of these. In our case, we'll, we'll select lead. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna copy it. Let's head back to our page here. And instead of all of this, we're gonna delete it. And we're gonna paste that right here. And so now if someone lands on this page, that will show up as a lead, okay? So let's click done. Let's click save and republish. And now we're gonna test this page and make sure it works, okay? So if, actually, if we just click on this page, uh, let me see, open link in new tab. I'm, mind, uh, my mind is, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Forgetting stuff here, but um, we clicked on this page. If you don't have the Facebook pixel helper, uh, make sure you use this. Again, uh, disregard these two things here. That's from our, uh, you know, that's from my course. I've been doing um, uh, a lot of uh, tracking scrolling and stuff like that. But we're gonna head over, um, let's see if we can refresh the page and let's see if we have our pixel here. It might be somewhere here. So like this lead could be it. Uh, so let's go to Facebook, let's refresh and see if it shows up. Might, it might not, but let's test it. And okay, so 
it, it does signify, it, it does show that some event is there, okay? So let's go in and now we can go in to add events uh, from a new website or from the pixel. And now we can use this tool and now it's gonna open our website, okay? So now that's how that works. But this lead should now shortly show up. So we know that it's here. Uh, let's go back here. It should be somewhere here. It should show up here. Uh, it just has two pixels. Let me see what pixel ID this number is. So this is 66306. Uh, 66306 okay so that is that same pixel ID we're looking for so it corresponds to that account and it's probably this one might be this one uh, the Facebook pixel activated two times on the web page okay so we had the lead activate twice uh, that's not gonna happen in your case again because I'm using it uh, I have the Google Tag Manager which already has this code on there okay I, I was using it for demonstration purposes so it's gonna show up well for you and that is why this works here for you now so if you click refresh again maybe it's gonna show up it should show up now, uh, but that's basically how you would do it. So now we can go in here and again, let's try to, from the pixel, let's try to add it here. And now we can, let's take this URL, let's copy it and let's paste it here. And now this should work. We'll open website. And now it's gonna kind of, you know, give us an option here. I Again, I don't know why, why Facebook didn't do this before. Like why it doesn't let us open the page when it clearly sees that we had the base code there, but this is basically how it's gonna work, okay? So we can add, now on this page, we don't have any buttons or anything like that, but what we can do is if we enter our regular page here and we open website, here we have some buttons. So what we can do is we can indicate and make a button be an event. So for example, we can track a new button, we can choose this button and we can say that this button is a lead, okay? So if someone clicks that button, that basically makes them a lead, okay? So we've done that, we can click on finish setup, we can finish. Um, I don't actually like this at all. So um, let's say this tool is confusing because it doesn't let us open the, the page right away, right? So I don't know what's going on. But if we refresh this right now, give it a second. So we should see the lead show up here. Again, it says zero, give it a bit, but that's basically how you do it, okay? That is how you set up Facebook Pixel event tracking and just the Facebook Pixel with their new stuff that they have going on. So remember, just use this URL here, copy everything in the script tag, then head over here and select what event you want. And then you're gonna be able to make it work here within the Facebook Pixel Helper. And you know, it says active last two minutes ago, so we know it's working fine. Uh, just give it a bit and it should show up as a lead. Uh, usually it takes me 15 to 20 minutes. Other than that, that is how you install the Facebook Pixel. Go through all your other pages and follow the process, just add uh, these events here on the pages. So for example, if someone purchases, right, I have here my purchase confirmation page. So you would want to add this purchase event pixel here. Uh, where's the purchase one? This one, you would want to add that. You can fill in the blank. So instead of zero, zero, enter how much you would make. And for currency, enter your currency. And that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing. Yeah. So from now on, you should be able to use the uh, event setup tool. So also if you want enter the URL of your page, which has the button to purchase, for example. And then if someone clicks that button, that's gonna be a purchase basically. But that's how it works. Um, we've successfully added the pixel. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I do cover all of this as part of a whole, teaching you how to create a retargeting list, how to create the pixels using Google Tag Manager, how to create very specific and very engaged, engaged, engaged audiences. Check it out in my course. I cover all that at evonmana.com slash all courses. Uh, select the Facebook retargeting course. Other than that, thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.